you know, it's still going to always be like that. There's always going to be people who just want to be around you because of money. But honestly, my partner is an asset. You know, she, her, her strengths are my weaknesses, you know, and we complement each other so well. And this is like, you know, I'm openly talking about my relationship now because it's something that empowers me as a, as a man, like who I am and how I wake up and who I look at in the mirror now is stronger than the one when I was by myself. Because you're always better when you have somebody else who's like-minded, also believes in you just as much as you believe in them. Mm. And I would say that process is a difficult process to find that, especially in today's age. I think that social media has a lot to do with it. I think that women's perspective of what men want is drastically different than what it actually is. And I think that what men actually want is drastically different than what they need. And it's a process, you know? And I think that as an individual, you have to kind of look at your partner as, is this the person that will help me get to my goals? And do they even have dreams? Are they a dreamer? You know, I always told myself, I would never let my inner kid die, ever. Because dreams is what got me here. And dreams is what's going to get me to nine figures plus. And it's not even about money, but the dream is for freedom. The dream is to impact. The dream is to be an influence. So if that's my dream, can this person help me do so? Next, you have to judge them based off of their actions. So I know that when I feel like folding or I feel like I'm, I feel like giving up, I know she has my back. It's not even, no question. And I knew like, there was a moment in early in our relationship where it was like, it was really tough for me. Like I couldn't, business was so hard on me and family and everything was just so difficult. And I went in the bathroom and I cried, like all the lights off. Cause I don't, you know, as a man, you don't want people to see you cry and things. Yeah. And there's all these, you know, social media posts about, oh, if a woman sees you cry, then she sees, she thinks you're weak. Nah, like as a man, you got to learn how to control your emotions. It's just a, a thing that people talk about now. And I remember she came into the bathroom and she prayed over me. That was the first time besides my mother ever when I fasted for Ramadan for 30 days, she would wake up at five in the morning and cook for me and make sure I was good. And then dinner, cook for me, make sure I was good. But not just in a, in a, a way where I'm full and I'm, I'm hung, like I'm hungry and you make sure I'm good that in that way, my soul is full. And that is something you can't trade. So, you know, you can go out and you can see there's millions of beautiful women in the world, but who are they really? What's under all the makeup? What's under all, all of the, the social media posts and wanting to, you know, be flattering to every man that sees them? Mm -hmm. What's under that? Mm -hmm. That's the definition of a woman that you'd want to see yourself with long term.